the most unfit for human settlement by the United Nations. 刚到这儿的时候呢，是什么都没有，是漫天的风沙。我们要把这块黄山图变成绿洲，这是我们想要的一个结果。欢迎来到直播间。嗯，经过这十年的框架，你看发生了百变不离的变化。我要作为一个代言人，把这片土地上的故事表达给更多的人听。你好，洪子波。Hongsibu in Ningxia is the hub of China's largest ecological migration initiative for poverty alleviation, helping over 200,000 people relocate and start a better life. But the Chinese people don't readily leave their ancestral homes, so why did the government feel this initiative was necessary? Xi Hai Gu is a name you won't find on any map, but the colloquial term given to the counties with the least fertile land in China's northwest and awarded the dubious distinction of most unfit for human settlement by the United Nations. These preserved homes give insight into the primitive living conditions of the people before Hongsapu was developed. They actually reminded me of the old Pueblo-style dwellings made of adobe in the American Southwest. In the deserts of Hongsapu, there was no running water and people were subject to long periods of drought, which meant what little water they could spare to shower with was done with the help of these pots. Containing water, unplug, little bit of water to rinse you off, maybe you shower a few times a year, and then plug it back up. There we go. Don't waste water. The harsh land kept locals in poverty and largely isolated. But in the 1990s, the local government started an ambitious initiative to move people into a proper town and shake off poverty. But before they could do anything, they needed water. The lifeblood of Hongsapu is water, and it's right here. This massive irrigation project lifted water from the Mother River, or the Yellow River, more than 300 meters and pumped the water into the veins and arteries of what would become Hongsibu. How do you convince millions of people to move from their ancestral homes in the mountains to a flat desert where they have to build everything from the ground up? You give them a token of good faith. Once people had ready access to water, many things became possible. Lil Kore invested 140,000 yuan in a nearby cattle farm, which helps him take care of the livestock. In 2020 alone, he earned a dividend of 23,000 yuan. So President Xi Jinping actually came here to your house. And I see you have one of his questions to you up on the wall. It says, uh, uh, What did you tell him? Uh, President Xi told the villagers building several new homes is not the destination. People need a stable and rich life in order to put down roots. So I am at a cattle farm co-op where individual families can purchase shares and at the end of the year the profits are divvied out among the participants. Last year the total profits were 7.6 million yuan, again divvied out among all of the participants. They gave them their profits in cash to encourage their neighbors to buy into the co-op, participate, and everyone gets rich together. I love that. I love it, moo cows! Speaking of getting rich, you have to meet this live-streaming goji berry queen. She started with nothing, but now runs a successful goji berry company, selling her goods all over China, mainly via live streams. Today, 
，欢迎来到直播间，大家点点关注。今天我要带着我们这位姐姐来参观一下我们的整个农场。西海库搬过来的时候就是特别的困难，家人们，曾经一块钱电费我都需要跟邻居去借。通过这几年我们的农副产品的发展，就说我们的日子一天比一天好过了。Twenty-four years later, thanks to ongoing government support and their own hard work, the people of Hong Sabu have transformed their community. 带动更多的周围的人，就说是参与到文化事业这一块中，让大家不仅是物质上哎脱贫了，然后到精神上呢也能呢过得比较丰富一些。嗯，其实呢，有人也一直在问，说是为什么要写作？农民这个群体呢，实际上是一个一直呢缺乏表达的一个群体，因为他们本身文化程度不高，加上所从事的生产劳动呢，让他们的生活极少，自己去讲述。只有我最清楚我的乡亲们在想什么，他们对这个美好生活的追求是什么。我就想着，我要作为一个代言人，把这片土地上的故事，把这些人的所思所想，把他们的精神世界表达给更多的人听。Hongsapu is an excellent example of what can happen when people are given equal access to resources. When they no longer have to struggle to meet their daily needs, they can then grow and expand as entrepreneurs, as artists, just as people. And I find that really inspiring. And I can't wait to see what new stories emerge from Hongsapu in the next 24 years.